Hi everyone, I'm Jesse, your favorite HVAC technician from SSB Heating and Cooling in Springfield, Missouri. Uh, we're starting a video series about the Honeywell T Series thermostats uh, to help you folks at home with navigating these thermostats. We'll be going more in depth into the specific models uh, in future videos, uh, but for now we're just going to go about the general features of the T Series. How do you know which T Series thermostat you have? Well, um, one of the quick ways to tell is a T1 thermostat is going to have three buttons. The T4, and T6, and T10 thermostats have five buttons. Another way to tell is by pulling it, the unit right off the wall. Pull it straight out. There's no hinges, there's no latches, there's no buttons. Just pull it straight out. The pins will hold it in place right here. And once you've got it off there, you can see the model number. It's a TH1. That's a T1 thermostat. On the T4, you'll see it says TH4. That's a T4 thermostat. What are the differences? Well, the T1, T2, and T3 are non-programmable thermostats. The T4, T6, and T10 have options to run a schedule or a program as you like, or you can run them as normal without a schedule or program too. And some of the T4, T6, and T10 have Wi-Fi capabilities. So you notice that I don't have any batteries in here, but it was powered a second ago. How's that? Well, it, this one runs on wall power, and to tell whether or not yours runs on wall power, you can pull this door down here to expose your thermostat wires. If you've got a wire going into the C terminal, odds are you have wall power. Now, if you've got a T1, T2, or T3, and you've got this wall power, we strongly recommend taking out the batteries. They can corrode, and there's really no reason to leave those batteries in there, because if the power's out, you might have power here, but your AC's not gonna have power, or your furnace. So you might as well take them out so that they don't corrode and cause issues down the road. You shouldn't see any copper here, by the way. If you see any copper here, let us know, and we can get that fixed up. You don't need any wires touching that can blow a fuse. All right, so close that back up, put that back on there. It goes on pretty quickly and easily. Just find the square and push straight in, all four corners in. Power should be coming on in just a second. There we go. And notice that the cool on is flashing. That's a feature called compressor protection. All of these T-Series thermostats have compressor protection. That means it's gonna wait a few minutes uh, usually three to five minutes before it turns on the AC. That's to protect your compressor motor outside from short cycling. Uh, it's a good feature to have, but you will have to wait a few minutes for your AC to come on. And this should turn solid once that starts happening. Sometimes uh, some of these models, after they get uh, power loss for too long, might go to a, a reset menu or an installer menu. If that happens, you'll see some strange numbers like 125. You might think, oh no, it's 125 degrees. No, nope, that's not the case. That's just an installer menu. If you don't have your original uh, user manual for the thermostat, give us a call. We can help you get through that menu. Some of the models, like the T10, like to ask for date and time after startup. Go ahead and put that info in yourself. Um, and, or if you are having difficulty with that, give us a call too. We can help you walk through that. You'll notice that this uh, model does not have any feature for auxiliary emergency heat. Uh, we'll be going over that in the T4, T6 video because those models are good for heat pumps. Not all folks have heat pumps. That is an additional feature we'll be going over in that video. I think that's all for now. We'll wrap up this video and I'll see you in the T1 video. Thanks. Have a good one. Quality that keep you smiling. SSB means comfort.